Imams in mosques around the country have used Friday prayers to condemn the sexual grooming of children. Quoting from the Quran, they spoke out after a number of high-profile child grooming cases involving Asian men in Oxford, Rotherham, Rochdale and Telford. The policing minister, Damien Green, described the condemnation as a very important move. Fatima Manji reports. It is our religious duty that we condemn this. Across the country at lunchtime today, worshippers heard a shared sense of worry. Uh, let me make it very clear from the outset that this is an act of criminality. It has nothing to do with race or religion. Nothing to do with religion and yet 500 mosques joined in with a coordinated campaign. In the high-profile publicity around cases of child grooming, much has been made of the fact that the majority of men involved in these types of crimes come from Pakistani backgrounds and are of the Muslim faith. Given that fact, some imams now feel they need to take on a sense of responsibility. Recent headlines from Oxford, Derby, Rochdale, Telford and West Yorkshire all involved similar types of child sexual abuse committed largely by men from certain community backgrounds. Just yesterday, seven men of Pakistani and North African origin were sentenced to a total of 13 life sentences for the horrific torture and rape of vulnerable girls in Oxford, some as young as 11. But aren't you just playing into the narrative that this is a Muslim problem? No, I take responsibility as a human being, mm -hmm. as a member of society, not as a Muslim, not because uh, this is a Muslim problem. This is a societal problem. This is a, uh, a crime against humanity. And my humanity calls on me to speak out against this. And he's not the only one saying he's taking a stand. It was a scene and sermon replicated across the UK. Many praise the message, yet feel deeply uneasy over the way they're being asked to account for the crimes of just a few, pointing out it's not often the so-called white community is asked to condemn crimes in this way. Yes, Islam is against it. It's very wrong. You know, it's evil act. Like, but the fact that, uh, you know, Muslim community, you know, it's been pressured down just solely upon the Muslim community itself, I think is wrong. We have many cases before, like Jimmy Savile, Straight Hall. Um, what has the government done? Every time something happens, even terrorists and all of that, all, all the Muslims get stereotyped. There's a lot of stuff in the media that, you know, tries to make the link, you know. So I think it's important to, to make that clear. This is, you know, distinction between what we in our faith uh, are taught and, you know, these crimes. Many Muslim religious leaders in the UK are invoking chapter and verse to send out a strong message. But the fact they feel the need to do this in such public campaigns shows just how worried they are about being portrayed as culpable in horrific crimes.